So what we want to recreate is something like this. Simple grid, not nothing that fancy, with a bunch of cards. The cards itself, they have a, a team name, they have a title and they have a tag and a few members that are attached to the cards. So let's jump right into Toddle. To start a new project, you type in your browser toddle.new. You should see, see something like this. I created one already. And let's start by creating this simple um, HTML structure of one of these cards. So let's use this div as a page container. Let's add another div inside to be the card container. Um, this div will have um, a top section, a middle section and a bottom section. Let's be HTML5 semantically correct and add a header to the top, a section to the middle one and let's put a footer here and this will represent uh, our card. So right now we can't see anything yet because although we have add a few elements, none of them has width to it. So let's add a few elements with width. Let's start by adding the card title. We can use a uh, H2 for that. Um, and let's add uh, H4 for the team name and we can add the H4 as well for the tag now we can change it later if necessary all right we have a few things on the screen already but they look awful um let's see why is this so big yeah this doesn't need to be this big so let's start by adding uh, a card background color uh actually what i'm gonna do is copy the ones from figma to try to replicate exactly what we have here so let's go with this one for instance uh, and that will go uh, here and now let's add um, this one for the text what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply on the card this color to apply to all the text and then overwrite the ones that I don't want to look that way and now let's add a bit of padding to around all the card left and right top and bottom and between elements as well so they look a bit more spacious looking good uh, let's add a border radius of 16 pixels again like I'm not trying to replicate exactly exactly what I have here in terms of UI more trying to focus around the structure uh, and yeah to finalize just like this one let's give this color to the team name here let's pass this one and uh, for the tag let's use for instance this one what i'm doing on the tags is passing the same color for both text and background but then removing opacity on the background one background one so passing to both and this one should be around 10 percent something around there um and let's make it like this and give a bit of space around the, the tag something like this should work with a bit of border radius yeah i think it works fine um let's just replicate this card a bunch of times to see how it will look on a grid actually i'm gonna force here a width of so it takes like three in a row yeah and now we can delete all of them Yeah, and now if I add another one, bam, 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 perfect. And let's center this, right. So now that I have the basic structure of my card done, what I want to do is to automatically populate with all this data. Um, the way data works in Toddle, Toddle is a tool to build the front end of web applications. And normally the, that, that data comes from the back end via API. And we have built in total a bunch of um, features to get that data and to be able to, to spread it across the application and to visualize it in the right places. But let's imagine the scenario that you don't have data yet, or maybe you are not that much of a developer, you are more like a product person and you want to mock up something quickly. Um, 
but you don't you don't you don't have access to that data so you have to somehow generate it in a different way so what i'm going to do to do that is to create a variable and i'm going to store all that data inside the variable and then i'm going to ask toddle to replicate this card as many times as it says in the data that is inside that variable um, so to do that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate an array basically um, i'm going to call data to the variable and i'm going to generate an array here that's going to give me one card for each um, item inside this array and it doesn't matter how many items there are in, uh, in the array or what is the content of each one of these items what it's going to do for now is just generate one card per item so i add six cards here uh, if i come back to my card and say i want to repeat this based on the data variable voila we have six different cards this is great and it's a very simple way to quickly generate a bunch of cards. I can actually come here and just bam, 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 bam. And I'm keeping generating cards and cards and cards. But this just solves part of the problem. I'm getting a bunch of instances, but I'm not getting different data in each one of them. So I'm, what I'm going to do to to mitigate that is actually um, use a kind of like a similar strategy but with a little twist instead of creating inside this formula um, inside this uh, variable that array and based on that populate a bunch of cards uh, i used uh, gemini but you can use ChatGPT or one of these ai tools to generate a json with a bunch of it inside and i did that with a very simple prompt um, something like give me a json file that has a bunch of entries each one of them has a title, a team, a status, and an array with other members that has an idea, a first name and a last name. And it gave me like all this data. And what I can do now is to copy this data, go back into Toddle, and say that I want to create a variable that's called full data, to have a different name. And instead of creating an array here, I want to parse a JSON uh, file and I'm going to pass a string as the input here. And inside this string, I'm going to put all the data. As, and you can see here in the output, we are getting 15 different entries and each one of them has a title, a team, a status, and an array with other, or other members, or the members attached to that product. So what I can do now is, I can come back to my editor and say that actually I want to repeat this based on this one and as you can see he has repeated a bunch of times still the data is exactly the same as the previous attempt when we were just creating a, an array here in the application but now i can go inside each one of these fields and populate with the data that i'm getting from that json so i can say that this heading actually is going to get from that item the title this one is going to get from the idle item the team name and this one is going to get from that item the project status and as you can see now we have a bunch of data this is super useful because now actually we can look at how it behaves with actual data like one thing that i'm noticing is that because some of the titles have two lines and one and some have just one line the cards don't have all the same uh, size so one thing that i can do to mitigate that it's like to force a size on the card let's say 300 pixels too much yes something like that and now it looks a bit weird like the text a bit more push to the top so i can say actually let's just space the elements around the card and Bam, as you can see, it looks more or less like the design that we have um, created. And in, I would say, less than 10 minutes, we create like a version here with a bunch of data. Let's try to add these team members as well to give it a bit more fancy look to finalize it. Um, so what you can do for the team members is here in the header, 
I'm gonna add a div that's gonna work as the container for all the members. And instead of adding an image for each member, actually I'm gonna add a div, little trick here, and add an image inside that div. This image is huge, so I'm gonna go 24 by 24. Uh, let's make it uh, round. Um, uh, I'm actually gonna add the, no, I'm actually gonna do like this. Add a bunch of these images with a div. And now what I'm gonna do on this one is, well, first of all, on the header, let's space it horizontally. I want them to be spaced between them to the, to the sides, so yeah. And now this one, I want to have a flex, but like this, horizontally. And I want this div to have, instead of 24 pixels, have only, uh, let's say, 12 pixels. And now, if I do it like this, they're gonna overlap and simulate the effect that we had here on these designs. Uh, the only thing missing is to give uh, to this div the image. Let's give it an outline of... Uh, let's use this color. And two pixels. So you can see like this little gap between them. It's all good. So what is missing now is to connect this to the data that we are getting. So once again, this is the members container. This is the div. Let's say that this is going to be repeated as many times as the members. And voila, we have there. You can see that some cards don't have members. Others just have one. Others have more than one. The last step to, to add um, a bit more realism to these uh, thumbnails is to add actually a real picture. What we can do here is use a library that can help us like generate pictures based on user ID. So we have our team members already. As you can see, some cars have one, some have none, some have more than one. The only thing missing is to add a photo to this for each member. The way we're gonna do that is, if you look at our JSON, we have an ID for each one of them. Let's use that ID to generate um, a random photo. Uh, I have this URL here. If you go to this image, uh, we have the default uh, total image here. But actually, I can pass, uh, let's make a concatenate and let's pass as the first argument a string. And that string is going to be these services that can provide us avatar images that at the end has image equal to a number. Let's remove that number and make that number um, coming from the ID of the user. And as you can see now, you have a bunch of different photos for each user. And actually the same user that is tagged in more than one card, as you can see here and here, will have the same photo. And that's it. Um, as you guys can see, uh, I'm not focusing that much in replicate exactly what we have here in terms of design, but the basic structure here is now it's a matter of like tweaking a bit font sizes, spacing and this kind of stuff. Hope this has been helpful and um, see you guys around in the next one. Bye.